We're in Cincinnati, home of the Cincinnati Mangles at the Concrete Jungle. You know, people say this town is a real hellhole. <laughs> they couldn't be more right. You know, my Goober driver almost fell into this giant sinkhole on the way to the hotel. Hey, don't surprise me. One of Satan's favorite cities to hang in. Makes sense he's got his own highway to hell, right? Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Micro Hard Mutilators face off against the Cincinnati Mangles. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's a beautiful day for MFL football, at least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works the deep fry at the concessions. He said how, not who, you idiot, even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. the ball man these guys like playing high risk ball Murphy Brown what I mean first down what the hell was that I uh, I honestly don't know Grim and the ball is well one yard is better than nothing but not by much second down and nine You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? Second down and long. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Third down and, well, good luck. Hot one, hot two, hot three. I don't remember calling 911, but the SWAT team is out in full force at the line of scrimmage. Nice play by the linemen. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time. Uh, he is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just getting the points and let's move on. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. Oh! And the defense jumps on side to the tank. And the QB evades an onslaught of defenders and lives to die another day. And it's first and goal here. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And 
And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. First down and nine. He just picked the receiver's pocket, and the defense gets a turn. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? First and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hey. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And that'll bring up third down and seven. That ball was almost intercepted. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. This is your brain, and this is your brain. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my... He is fighting for every yard. And it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And the ref shows some nifty moves and escapes with his life. I got a saw butt that says he's dead next play. I'm not taking that bet. First down and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and a mile. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. He's on the ch if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer, just to say, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? <laughs> and this is a first and long situation. Hot one, hot two, hot three. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Throw that one out of bounds. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. One, hot two, three. 
Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads up field. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. The punishing. I know I was said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta uh... ask. <clears throat> And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course he... There's a bloody red head on the field. No, that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. And the defense gets another pick. Man, roughed it. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Hot. Oh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Oh, thank you. I do my part. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. <laughs> Third down and long. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. the ball to the player behind him. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Hey. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Oh. Second down and six. Hot one, hot two, hot. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Ah, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but I'm not getting out of the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? Oh, mama. Just call him Cap'n Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Yeah. 
And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for the night, man. And it's first to ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Second down in a lot. <laughs> Holy crap, he runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's gonna be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. Foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And he punched his way out of that tackle. And the quarterback finds his man for the first. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. They're back up here on first, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. And he just, and he's off to the races. They're getting on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a soft lock fighting on this asshole. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Crap! First and ten. Hot 
One, hot two, hot, hot. And the defense, oh, this guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. He's leaving a wake of the, oh, the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji, the new game. Holy crap, he mistimed the spikes and ends up dead. Life is full of misery, Grim. Loneliness, suffering. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to flop it, Grim. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sinners then. The kick is good! Yeah, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, with the brain scrambler! And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not. The ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. He's right at home here, taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swiping money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who knows? Do First and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Second down and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. Side effects. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, going in circles. And it's first and ten. Two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the, the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Not much there, maybe a yard. And we're at the two-minute warning. I got to pee. Third down and three. Hot, hot one. Hot. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the cut, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. And 
It's first and ten. And he lets fly with the bomb. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Second down and ten. for nine on that play. <laughs> and they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout there in halftime. And that'll bring up third and one. <laughs> he is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Man, I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And he laterals at the last second. Nifty move there. Man, what a hit that was. Second and three. is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean that defense gets into a hurry up too? At this rate, the QB is gonna have more. Oh! Mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. No, that's the red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. <laughs> Mangles lose by forfeit. And such bitter disappointment for the hometown fans. I used to play for this team, Grim, so I'm sad, too. Well, at least I can go to the Simpson Anthony Zoo and see my favorite gorilla, Harambe. <laughs> he always cheers me up. Don't even think about saying it, Junior. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Palin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Oh, Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every up.